This week, we start the epic European leg of our world tour with a stop in one of our favorite cities, Dubrovnik, Croatia. We'll explore some new and old beaches, share details on Dubrovnik's iconic old town, and attempt to save money in a city that has become quite expensive in just a few short years. In the spirit of saving money, we choose the absolute worst flight every single time. <gasps> Downside with an Airbnb is you can't check in until late. So we tried to go to a cafe and that was close. <laughs> so now we're trying to find a luggage locker. Updates on what just happened? What's transpired? And well, we lost my phone. And, and now we're waiting in a scooter rental parking lot to see if we can get into the luggage place that allegedly opens in a few minutes. So we'll see. Fingers crossed. I don't have a lot of faith in this place. We're at Bellevue Beach. So Google Maps once again failed us. We were at the back entrance to the luggage storage space and they were in fact open. So we came straight to the beach because it is hot. Honestly, where else would you rather be than in this water? Honestly, this is like what I was like craving for in Croatia. If you haven't realized by now, Croatia is really hot and really pretty. It is so nice. We're so happy to be back. Hopefully explore some new things. What did I promise you? I am back in Europe, so you know what that means. It is time for an Aperol Spritz, <laughs> okay? We went into Dubrovnik, you know? I love Dubrovnik. It's a beautiful city. Yeah. It is stupid expensive now. All right, so things have obviously changed since the last time we visited. Croatia has joined the Euro, or has adopted the Euro as a currency. They've seen an increase in spike in prices. We went to get a drink, and a mojito was 19 euros. Okay, that was at one place that was like in the main square, but I'd say the average price around is 12 to 13 euros. I will say, still just as beautiful as it was before. I mean, yeah, like, what a beautiful the place. Prices, it's still so worth it. It's so beautiful. Okay, we're at Bellevue Beach, I think, number two. This one's a lot bigger. There's actually like a beach area. Also see, they play water polo. So we were hoping to catch a game, but it's a little rough today, so I don't think we're gonna play. So we're gonna go home and make some lunch today. Look at us. I'm making some pasta out of just just whatever I could find at the grocery store. So we're making some. We have some tomatoes, we have some zucchini, we have a lemon, I have some I have a baby parmesan. This That's isn't right. no chopped kitchen. This is this is a jailhouse kitchen right this now. This is chopped. Chopped prison. It's pretty good. For having minimal ingredients. There's sleep in there. Okay, we're excited because tonight we are going on a free walking tour of Dubrovnik. We are using Guru Walk, which is a free app uh, with free guides of cities all across the world. So we're excited to, to try it out. Right, so we are in Dubrovnik, which is known best for its very well-preserved walled city, which is set on the Dalmatian coast, and it is often referred to as the Pearl of the Adriatic. So let's explore. So to help preserve the city, you're only allowed to paint the doors in three colors. The first one is what they call Dubrovnik green, which is what you'll see pretty much everywhere and then the other is white, and then the other is just to keep it a natural wood, as they would back in the day. Interesting to see. We're at the Jesuit stairs. They have a striking resemblance to the Spanish steps in Rome, and it was designed by a, a Roman as well. They also are famous in modern times for shame steps from the Game of Thrones TV show. Oh, the cats are here, yeah, for a very important reason. They tend to eat a lot of the vermin in the city and take care of them. But a lot of tourists now just feed them and they don't eat the vermin, so that's a problem. Yeah. Dubrovnik has also been, has a history of some really 
terrible of earthquakes. And in 1667, they had a pretty bad one, which killed three, two to 3,000 people and destroyed up to 75% of the city. And because of all those earthquakes and fires, the city has had to rebuild. So it's a combination of different styles and times that you can tell from some of the architecture. <laughs> So, as much as I would have loved to enjoy a cocktail with that view, um, I wasn't going to show out 18 euros. That's more expensive than New York. We are at Banja Beach. It's really nice for swimming, so I'm going to enjoy it for the day. Most of the beaches here are stones, size that you wear water shoes, which we did not bring. So, you know, you just have to think about it as like a little massage on your feet. Zachary, where are we going? We're going to a restaurant that I recommend. Lady Pee Pee. <laughs> Shit's gonna be fire. So for lunch today, we had a mixed grill meat plate, of course. Um, and it was chicken, sausage, a type of maybe, I don't know, lamb? And then we also had some fresh squid uh, on the grill. All of it was so incredible and just as amazing as we remember it from last time. And then you got to see the statue as well. Yeah. Oh, and of course we got a half a liter of wine, so. I just think it's a really magical place. Like you walk around and there's so many hidden alleyways. Just there's you're always discovering something new and I just feel like no matter how many times you visit, it's still breathtaking every single time. Just from the beauty, the history. It's one of my favorite places. Alright, it's our final day in Dubrovnik. Our final morning, so I decided to treat us and I woke up early and got some pastries as well as some coffee. So let's check out the haul. Let's start with the cinnamon type bun. There's not a strong chocolate flavor, but the cinnamon bun is almost like a croissant cinnamon bun. Mmm. Where is this? I don't know. I think it's hazelnut. Really good, flaky. Perfect. Then I got the ham and cheese roll. The ham and cheese roll is awesome. It literally tastes like a ham and cheese roll. Really nice. So this one's a latte macchiato. Oh jeez. You fucking kidding me? Next week, we head to Split Croatia where we'll see Diocletian's Palace, take a day trip to Kirka National Park, and discover some of the area's best beaches. Our travel hack today. So a lot of the lounges have these espresso machines and you know I want a cappuccino but the cappuccinos turn out too milky so the, the travel hack is to pour out a quarter of it and then get another shot of espresso. Try it. You won't be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs>